Welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to be reviewing figurative language. So let's begin. Introduction. In this slideshow, I will share eight different types of figurative language with you. There are many different types of figurative language, although I will be only sharing eight types. I'll be teaching you about alliteration, personification, similes, metaphors, idioms, hyperboles, and onomatopoeia. Always remember that figurative is the opposite of literal, and in figurative language, they really mean what they actually say. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to give a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Um, the first one that I'm going to be teaching you about is alliteration. Um, the definition of alliteration, alliteration is when either all of the words or most of the words in a sentence start with the same letter. One example is the carefree child cried over her Seroline shirt, ruining it. So, um, Seroline means blue. I use that word because it starts with the C and that was the best way to do alliteration. Personification. Um, personification is when you describe something that isn't human as if it was. So one example is the stars danced through the night, which means that the stars were kind of like, as when as you're looking at them, it feels like they're dancing even though they aren't. The book was calling out for me to read it. It kind of means the opposite of what it says. Um, it kind of means that you wanted to read the book so bad and it felt like the book was calling out for you to read it instead of you wanting to read it. Similes. You might have heard from similes before because they are one of the most common, um, most common types of figurative language. Um, similes are when you compare something using like or as. So some examples are Emma was as sweet as a ripe berry, meaning that Emma was very sweet. Um, Jenny was like a cat when she slept, meaning that she was she slept a lot and she um, sleeps very deep sleep. She's a very deep sleeper, similar to cats. Elizabeth was as fast as a cheetah when she ran. We all know that cheetahs are the fastest animals on one of the fastest animals, so it's just saying that Elizabeth was very fast runner. Okay, the next one is metaphors. So metaphors are similar to similes, but they're slightly different. Um, instead of comparing using like and as, you're just going to make a direct comparison, meaning that you're not going to use like or as. So, a simile would be the child was quiet as a mouse, but the metaphor would be the child was a quiet mouse. A simile would be the girl was as playful as a kitten, a metaphor, the girl was a playful kitten. Simile, Claire was like a computer when she read. When Claire is reading, she's a computer. So, when you change, convert from a simile to a metaphor, you might change the way the words are written instead of just deleting the as's or the likes, you might need to change the ways the phrase is written to make sure that it makes sense. Okay, idioms. An idiom is a sentence or phrase that teaches a lesson or is another way to tell a phrase figuratively. So, in each country, an idiom has its own each country has their own idioms, so I'm going to be sharing um, U.S. idioms. So one of them is never judge a book by its cover. So its meaning is don't judge anyone or anything by their looks. Um, break a leg, meaning good luck. It costs an arm and a leg, which means it's very expensive. And it's raining cats and dogs, it means it's raining heavily. 
um, hyperboles. Um, a hyperbole is when you say a sentence, but you're exaggerating it a lot. So one hyperbole is, it's raining cats and dogs, which is also an idiom. Um, and one, hy another hyperbole is, he's as skinny as a toothpick, which is also a simile. And the last one is, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. So obviously don't they don't mean what they're saying. They're just exaggerating it a little bit. Okay, onomatopoeia. This is one of the ones that's difficult to pronounce. So if you can't pronounce it, you can search it up and figure out how to pronounce it. It's onomatopoeia. Um, it's meaning a word or phrase that looks how it sounds. So ouch. When you read ouch, it sounds how it sounds. It looks how it sounds. Ouch. I scraped. So you can use it like, I scraped my knee when I fell and screamed. Ouch. Whoosh. It looks how it sounds. Whoosh went the wind as the storm continued. Swoosh. It looks how it sounds. The water inside the cup went swoosh when I shaked it. Okay, the finally conclusion. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this helps you with your figurative language. Always remember that a sentence can have one more, more than one type of figurative language in it and that you can include figurative language in your writing to make your writing better and more, more scholarly. So once again, as I said before, please subscribe, like, and ring the notification bell. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, comment below if you would like to share an example of figurative language or if you want to share something else. Um, thanks for watching.